said over and over again, that black man, you know that you are an Israelite according to the Bible? My sister, you're an Israelite. Now you say you're a Greek. That's good. What's your nationality? Black? So, my brother and my sister, can you buy a $300 $315 plane ticket and fly to the land of black? Can you, can you go back to the land of black? So how are you black? A Nigerian can fly back to Nigeria. A South African can fly back to South Africa. A European can fly back to Europe. Can you fly back to black? So how are you black? Yeah, it's, it's almost comical, right? It's like, damn, how am I black? Because you're not black. According to the Bible, you are an Israelite. The reason why we don't know that is because slavery. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Come Please on. Not. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. A black man named Moses, he wrote the first five books in the Bible. He wrote it to the children of Israel. I'm going to show you that. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. And the reason why I'm taking my time showing you that is because we've been taught that this Bible is a universal book. That is for everybody. But the Bible don't say that. You understand? Don't go off what people tell you what you hear. Go off what the Bible is saying. You understand that? So I'm going to show y'all what the Bible say verbatim. That's Come right. On. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. God said he spoke his word to all Israel. Did he say the Chinese? No. Did he say the Vietnamese? No. Did he say the Japanese? No. He said what? The children of Israel. That's you and that's you. That's us. Blacks and Hispanics. Come on, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. Whenever you hear the words, it shall come to pass, meaning a future prophecy. Come on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. What? He said his commandments, or did he say religious? Commandments. Thou shalt not kill is a commandment. Thou shalt not commit adultery is a commandment. Thou shalt not steal is a commandment. Bring it out. Where did God say be a Pentecostal? Where did God say join the holiness church? When did God say be a Baptist, be a Christian, be a Muslim? Bring it out. God said keep my commandments. That's right. And live. And it shall come to pass if you don't keep my commandments, read on. To observe to do all his commandments. If you don't observe to do all his commandments, shalom, brother. And his statutes, or his statutes under those commandments, we, which I command thee this day. Moses gave it to us that day. And we can read about it today. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. I said, if you don't do that, curses will overcome us and overtake us. Is a curse, brother, is a, is a curse a bad thing or a good thing? It's a bad thing, right? So just like your physical father when you came up as a young child, when you did bad things, that punishment was bad, right? Same with God. He said, you as my people, if you don't listen, it shall come to pass that you shall, that curses shall befall you. So I'm going to show us some curses in the Bible. Read. Okay. Police running up and down Cottage Grove, that's a curse in the Bible. You know, according to the Bible, brothers, brothers, we're supposed to police ourselves. You know that, right? You know that, right? The CPD was never supposed to police us. But because we fell so low, we need another man to tell us what to do. That's a curse. Read. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Are we not in the city of Chicago sitting at the Cottage Grove? Are we not cursed? Look around. That's, you live in the curses. White folks don't gotta go through what we go through. You know that? You know, white folks don't gotta go through police running up and down they they they, they corners. White folks ain't gotta deal with drug dealers. Yeah, 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 right. Like Cap said, I thought it was Mother's Day. If it's Mother's Day, why is all this drama going on? Bring it out. Bring it out. Huh? Why is all this judgment going on if Mother's Day was so good? Oh, how I love my mama. I thought it was a good day, right? It's idolatry. Come on, read it. Bring it out. Verse 16. Mama. Is that according to the Bible? Mama. No, it's not. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. God said you shall call blacks in his face, shall be cursed in the city. That's a curse. Read. Curse shall thou be in the field. And we was cursed in.
in the field, the sugar cane field, the cotton field, the tobacco field, the, uh, give me some more, the rice and the wheat trays, uh, the banana fields, we was cursed in the field. You know in slavery the horses got more sleep than we did? Bring it out. We, I think we got less than four and water. We only had a pint of water to drink. That's a curse. No other nation, I don't care what no man tell you. Look it up. No other nation had to go through what we went through. Bring it out. That's a fact. Bring it up. Because we the children of Israel. His chosen people. We verse 17. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Our stores and our businesses is cursed. And I ain't talking about your uncle that owned the barber shop. I ain't talking about your AT that, that owned the nail shop. As a whole, we don't own no financial institution. Bring it up. You know? If you want a loan to get you a house, can you come to me? No. Can I come to you? No disrespect, but I cannot. I gotta go to uh, give me the white man. No, I wanna I wanna name it, bro. I wanna name him out here. I gotta go to Bank of America. I got to go to J.B. Morgan, which all slave. I got to go to Wells Fargo. I got to go to Chase BMO. All these institutions that made money off our backs of slavery. Bring it out. I got to go to them. Why? Because God said my basket and my store will be cursed. And a lot of you selfish brothers and sisters out here, y'all say, I'm not cursed. I make trips to Atlanta once a week. We cursed as a whole. Stop being selfish. We, verse 18. Curse shall be verse 37. Verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment. God said the Israelites, so-called blacks and Hispanics, shall become an astonishment. Do you know it's an astonishment for a 42-year-old man to walk down the streets with his pants sagging? Bring it out. It's an astonishment for a 47-year-old man to throw up his GD. That's an astonishment. Bring it out. 47-year-old Chinese men are running uh, music, not music, yeah, they're running music studios like Sony. They were in two Chinese restaurants. 47 year old white men are, are laid back in the office somewhere telling, little, uh, telling everybody what to do. Selling houses. But 47 year old black and Hispanic men walking down selling crack gangs and, and gang banging. 47 year old black women got blonde in their hair. And again, I'm not trying to insult or belittle my people. I know we know. I'm trying to show you where we at and show you where we supposed to be. You understand? That's why I'm talking about the, the, the bad. But I'm also going to talk about the good. Bring it out. Come on. And thus shall become an astonishment. God said we shall become an astonishment. We a proverb. And we shall become a proverb. My brother with the fringes, it's time to get yourself together, bro. Join the congregation. Come on. And a byword. God said we shall become a byword. African American is a byword. That's right. Your great granddaddy, he's older than that term African American. That term came out in the 1980s. What's that, 30 years, 30 years ago? Bring it out. That's like about 30 years ago, right? A lot of us on this corner right now are older than 30 years old. So why you, 40 years ago, so why you call yourself African American? That's 40 years ago. 40 year old term. Bring a 55 year old black man walking around with a 40 year old term on his name. Bring it up. That's crazy. That don't make no sense. The Chinese always been Chinese. And what am I proving? I'm proving that that is a curse. We and a bad word among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. And a bad word among all the nations. Don't think that we just be, be being called niggas here in America. Nope. You go to Africa, you know what they call our people? Akata. It means cotton picker. Bring it out. Bring Why do they call their own people cotton picker? Because they know we're not the same people. Believe it or not, we are not African. The first slave ships came from Spain. I got it in my book. The first slaves was named Fernando, Antonio. We got brothers right now named Antonio. Why? Because we came from Spain as the Moors, but we are the children of Israel. We're not Moorish, but I'm saying the point I'm proving is that all of us did not come from Africa. That's the point that I'm trying to prove. prove. Bring it out. And the proof is you go to Africa, they're going to call you Akata. Come here, Akata. Let them get mad enough. Right now they want to be cool with you. Let them get mad enough. They're going to call you an Akata. Here in America, they call us niggas. Here in America, they call us spits. God said it. That's a byword. Why? Because according to the Bible, look at the chart. This right here is the 12 tribes of Israel. If your forefathers are African American, you're from the tribe of Judah. If your forefathers are Puerto Rican, you're from the tribe of Ephraim. That's right. 
If your sales fathers come from Mexico, you are the tribe of Ishika. Bring it out. But the byword that was placed on you is niggas and spicks. Bring it out. That we ain't niggas and spicks. We're the children of Israel. So read that again. And thus shall become an astonishment. Astonishment. Again, it's an astonishment to be living the way we live it. You know, honestly, I'm going to tell you something. A lot of our brothers who went to the Middle East um, during the wars, you know, the, uh, Bill, um, what's the president? You know, Desert Storm and all that. They found out that the Arabians, yeah, the Arabians, you know, they call us demons, right? Because they said there's no way that Folks been enduring all this right here. They said that we are demons. They said it's impossible. We are in astonishment. How did people endure 400 plus years of chattel slavery like cattle and we still here? Bring it out. Bring it out. Of course, we're in astonishment. We don't. And a proverb. And a proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. Like they say that black people is always late. They call it black people time. They say if you want to hide anything from a Negro, put it in a book. That's a proverb. Proverbs are wise sayings that people carry on through time after time, through generation. Come on. And a bad word among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Nowhere on the face of this earth do they acknowledge the blacks and Hispanics as the children of Israel. You go to Africa, they call you a kata, meaning kata, cotton picker. Arabs call us what? They call us kafirs. They call us slaves. You go to Israel, they're going to call you koyo. That means cattle, slaves. Bring it out. You go to the south, they're going to call you a nigger. You come here in Chicago, they're going to call you a nigger. Bring it out. They call us li liquid money because we can't seem to keep money in our pocket. We get paid on Friday and spend our money on, on Mother's Day, which is not in the Bible. Come on. Verse 43. Bring it out. Stranger that is with thee shall get above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. My brother, you got a question? Hey, brother, brother right there with the hoodie on. Mordecai, sit him this way. Y'all ain't got questions, send them this way. So my brother, you got a question? What's your question, brother? Come on, talk to me. I can hear you over there, talk to me. What's your question, brother? Okay, what's your, what's your question? What's on your mind, bro? No, you had a question Okay, my question for you is, do you know according to the Bible you are an Israelite? No, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. The Bible's not real? Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. Because my brother, you my brother, and I love you, bro. But you said that the Bible ain't real, so I'm going to show you if the Bible's real or not. By the Bible. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. So my young, naive brother, he said that the Bible is a book of mythology. He said the Bible's not real. We're going to see if the Bible's real. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. How did we get into the shores of America? Which God said is spiritual Egypt. How did we get here to the shores of America? How did we get to Baltimore, Maryland? How did we get to New York, New York? Charleston, South Carolina. New Orleans, Louisiana. How did we get to Jacksonville, Florida? All slave ships. How did we get to Kingston, Jamaica? All slave ships. Bring it on. How did we get to Port of Prince Haiti on slave ships? How did we get to Havana, Cuba on slave ships? How did we get to, uh, give me all these, the Cancun in Mexico on slave ships? The Mexican on slave ships? Why are we here? Why are slave ships? I'm going to show you this in the Bible. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. God said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt back into bondage on transatlantic slave ships. Right. Tell me that's not true. Because my young brother said, oh, the Bible's a book of mythology. If that's mythology, why the hell are we on the bus stop? Why are we on Sunday night selling Percocets? sex? Why are we on Sunday night game banging if that's not true? Why are we selling squares here in Chicago? Why the hell are we in Chicago? Why are we not in Africa? We from Africa, huh? Why? Because the Bible's a true book. That's right. You just never had men who knew it to show it to you until today. Bring it out. Come on. 
By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Moses said the same way I'm speaking to you is the same way it's going to happen. Now tell me that we didn't go on slavery on slave ships. Did not Kanye West just say that slavery was a choice? So if slavery is a choice, slavery must have existed right for it to be a choice. You can't choose what don't exist, right? Bring it out. Get your mind right. Thus shall see it no more again. God said we would never see our homeland again. We're not from Chicago, we're from Jerusalem. Bring it up! Bring Jerusalem it up. is in Africa. That's right! Y'all black men, black women that say that we're from Africa, you're right. But we ain't from the part of Africa that you say. We're from Jerusalem. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it up! Uh, and again, what are we out here teaching? Number one, you so called blacks and Hispanics, you are the children of Israel. It's time to get your mind right. We've been sucking on the white man's nipple for far too long. Bring it up! It's bro. time to man up. Bring it up. It's time to open up a book and read for a change. That's right. Yes, sir. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. No. Verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. The Bible says, God says, Jerusalem is above all nations on the face of this earth. That's, That's right. right. Bring it up. That's your homeland. Jerusalem is a, supposed to be a free country and a free people. Black man and Hispanic man, you are Jerusalem in the Bible. That's right. But we ain't free right now. We in bondage. Come on. Which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem, which is in Africa, yes, it is the mother of us all. No, we're not from the Nile Delta. Stop saying we're from Ethiopia. And we damn sure ain't from Chicago. That's right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.